Hi everyone, it's Mary Blocker from Mary's Stampin' Cafe, and I am here today to share with you a most fantastic little note card that is so simple, but it's so stunning, and if you know that there's a 15% off designer series paper with Stampin' Up! right now, you can create cards for all the seasons, all the holidays, super quick, super easy, and it's simple, but it is just so stunning. This particular card was created by my sister-in-law, Arla. We had a stamping party and I helped her with it. And this card just blew me away, I have to tell you. Um, this is a Beauty of the Earth Designer Series paper and there is 12 by 12 piece that has these um, rows of trees. How absolutely quick, easy, just beautiful. Um, I wanted to also remind you that I am doing my July Stamptacular giveaways. Um, anytime you join me on Facebook or comment here on my YouTube videos, share, like, subscribe and hit that bell because you don't want to miss any um, videos. And um, any $25 orders placed through July 25th using this host code will um, be entered into my drawing. Um, you can multiple entries for all sorts of things. Um, Facebook Live is Tuesday this week at 4 o'clock. I'll have the link below. And I am going to tell you, I made so many cards to share with you today with this layout idea, simple, stunning, but um, even going 2.0. So this is the Banner Year stamp set. It is fantastic. It has Christmas wishes, happy Thanksgiving, happy haunting, uh, with a grateful heart, be merry, you're sweet, and all of these little cute images for you to embellish your projects. It is found on page 95 in the annual catalog. Here it is, page 95. And it is just so cute. The cute little bird here and the holly leaves over here. Absolutely cute set. Um, that's what I'm using today for all of the projects I'm gonna share with you. So just to remind, this is the, the sample project. And I'm gonna start uh, with a little bit of Christmas and I'm going to sneak peek some new and upcoming embellishments you are gonna love. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go ahead with my Christmas. Now, I decided to use the um, Christmas Tidings designer series paper. And I do have, let's take a look. I do have that here, the Tidings of Christmas. It is a stack of 48 sheets, six by six. And look how beautiful this is. This is one of the designer series paper packages that is on a 15% discount right now through August 2nd, I believe. And aren't the designs just beautiful? And I always love the back sides with the soft colors, We've got beautiful red stripes, and oh, crumb cake is so nice in the back side with that mint macaron. So very beautiful. So that's the paper I'm using today for my Christmas note cards. So here's a pretty one just using that strip with mint macaron and the Christmas wishes. Now from that one, I went ahead and I changed my background to evening evergreen and Christmas wishes. And then I added, you guys will absolutely love the new and upcoming brushed metallic adhesive back dots. These are just absolutely gorgeous. What I love by with this is that some of them are very, very perfectly round, but then as we come over here, these start to get a little bit more like um, watercolor pearl shaped, um, but they are just stunning. And so that's what I did as I just added the pretty brass colored or copper colored ones here for stepping up that one. It was so fun creating all these with the different designer series paper. And it's such a simple but effective layout. So there's this one here. This is a different piece of the Tidings of Christmas um, than um, with Mint Macaron layered. And now here's this one. Now I use the Cherry Cobbler layer and look at how absolutely quick and easy that was and how it changed it. And two more embellishments to share with you here. Let me show you. These are beautiful holly 
metallic holly leaves. Aren't they beautiful? Get a whole package of those. And then the other package. Oh, where's my other little package? Where did it fall to or run to? You will love, 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 love. They are the acrylic, beautiful acrylic shapes that you see right here. They come in red and white. And there's these little pinwheels and there's also beautiful decorative corners. And I apologize, but I don't have those sitting in front of me. So they will show up and I will show them to you shortly as soon as they pop up here in my vision. That is so strange. I have them both together. Okay, that's all right. So those are some fun, beautiful little note cards for Christmas. I absolutely loved them. I'm going to set those aside. And the next thing we're going to take a look at is the Halloween. So the Halloween is so much fun. And for that, I'm utilizing the up and coming cute Halloween designer series paper. So this is a sneak peek. It's not even available yet. I got to order pre-order as a demonstrator early. So we have some fun, fun pumpkins and kitty cats, little ghosties and skulls and haunted houses. <laughs> so fun there. Fun little skeletons, dots and stripes and little bats and pumpkins and just Fun, fun Halloween colors. That's a fantastic little six by six pack of designer series paper. All right. And in the banner year set for this, I'm using the Happy Haunting. And I'm also using Sneak Peek, Sneak Peek, the Clever Cat stamp set that's coming in the catalog. So darn cute. I'm using the It's Halloween stamp right here. All right. So let's show you some of my Halloween ones. Okay, so here's our basic. It's Halloween that looks just like our sample. And now look at our cute, happy Halloween right here. This is so fun. I simply took the pumpkins from the designer series paper here. I cut them out. And then, you guys, you notice that tree and that hat? I am using, for that, another sneak peek. Oh, and they're bouncing all over here. This die cut set is so, so cute. This is called Frightful Tag Dies. And it has the most fabulous spider web. And here's that tree, and here's that hat. And I absolutely love this, um, this frame. I have a card that I'm going to be posting soon and sharing that's utilizing these dies as well as the Clever Cats stamp set. But that's what I did for this one. And I did the Happy Haunting from the Banner Year set. And with that is I'm using the new Cute Stars Adhesive Backed Sequins. So you can see these here. There's the fun orange and um, I almost think that's fresh freesia and black ones, obviously. I've been using a lot of the black ones already. So those are really fun. And I decided to put those right in the trees. Now what you notice is the hat. If you can see that, the hat has the black little banner there, the, the little, little belt that goes around the hat. With the buckle, all I did was die cut out a purple hat and a black hat, and then I just cut the black buckle part and then glued it right on top there. That's how I got that little effect. And the stars are so easy to apply, and they're already adhesive backed. How cute is that? Isn't that just sweet? Okay, so there's two. Well, how about a cute little pumpkin pie card? It says, it's Halloween, and I cut the kitty cat and the pumpkins. I raised them up with dimensionals, and that's how that one went. 
And I don't know, but I think this might be my favorite. So I use the little um, black and white paper here as the background. And the first two are done with the beautiful um, kind of haunted houses. Well, here is one more using that fun skeleton and ghosty paper. I die cut out the tree again, and this time I'm using the um, purple stars in the tree. And I just think those are just so cute. I just think they're stunning. I absolutely love them. And they don't take long at all. Now, this strip, if you're wanting to do any of these note cards, the... Um, Designer series paper strip is one and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then the layering piece is one and a half by three and a half. So I showed you my Christmas and I've showed you Halloween. Let's talk about Thanksgiving. Okay. We are going to create a card together today. I'm going to create Thanksgiving with you. I'm going to just clean up here a little bit, you guys, and set some things aside. Okay, here we are. So now I have a piece of the basic white, which I did not score very well, it looks like. <laughs> the note cards are five by seven. They come in a package of 20 with envelopes, which is so nice. But I have this like so. I already have this mountain, and again, that's one and a quarter by three and a quarter, one and a half by three and a half, and I'll put those measurements in the link below. But I'm gonna go ahead and raise this up. Let's make a fun Halloween one. I'm using Cajun Craze with this, and the other um, thing I'm using is the Beauty of the Earth Designer Series paper, which is on the 15% discount. If you just go to my Stampin' Up! store, maryblocker.stampinup.net, and click on Specials and Sales, you'll see the designer series paper and all of the ones that you can get at a 15% off. And just think about one package of paper and you could utilize the different layers um, so easily. It would be really, really fun. Okay, so now we have that layer. And I'm going to get my stamp and I'm going to do the, um, when I look at the banner year, I'm going to use the with a grateful heart stamp and I'm going to use the Cajun craze for that and I'm going to just ink it up. Now you can stamp this before you put your layer on but I like to go ahead and just put my layer down and then stamp. So with a grateful heart. I like that a lot. Now I have to show you a really fantastic new die set. This is coming in the July to December 2021 mini catalog, and this is called the Gift, a Giving Gift Dies. They are going to be so fun. You can die cut these out, layer them with another thing, and create tags out of them. I'm focusing on this right here. This beautiful cascading leaves with has such wonderful detail. And what I've done is I've actually die cut some of those out. And I want to show you what they look like because I thought it would be great to uptick this particular card. So I just love these cards just the way they are. I think what I have right here is great. It is just stunning. People will love it. But now let's talk about these leaves. Here they come. Look at the gold leaves and the mossy meadow leaves and how awesome are these what you get are these leaves that again have these already die cut out pieces but they're so detailed in the sense of the um the veining on the leaves they're just stunning so i thought it would be really fun to add some of those here kind of like i did the you know think about the halloween card where i had the things over kind of to the side like this I'm going to do the same effect here and what I'm going to do is just bring in my um, multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm going to go ahead and add just a few dots of glue and I'm going to just start here and we'll just do a little building and see how it goes. So we're going to take that large one. Oh, I think I'm going to use the maple leaf here. Again, just a few little dots of glue is all you need. 
And I'm going to put that one right next to it there. Let's give a couple minutes to put my fingers there and let it hold the liquid glue. Now from that one, let's go ahead with a little bit smaller one. I'll go ahead and do this leaf with a few dots of glue. A few dots of glue. And I think I'll bring that one right here. And then I'm going to tuck a smaller gold too. I think this is just stunning. These little leaves, oh, so, so beautiful. Put another one right there. But you can see how this is building up and it's just adding so much interest. Now, that's an awfully big leaf. I don't know whether I want to use that one. Might use this little one and then I think I'll use a dimensional to pop up. Pop up the little guy. Just need a piece of one because that's a small, small leaf. Oh, so if you're new with me, welcome. You've, you've stopped in at a great time for the first time with these fantastic projects. Do another little one right there. <laughs> They're just cascading down. Yep, that's just too big. I think I'm going to do another little gold one. Cascading, yes. Another little gold one that's cascading. What's really great about this one is you could do as many of these leaves as you want and you could go across the whole front of this. Would be really fun. I'm gonna put that one there. And one more little tiny one. Maybe right in here. Yeah, I like that. Oops, which way do you go? All right, there is a back side and a front side. So this one kind of goes like this. I'll let that leaf just go that way, I like that. And there we are. I mean, how beautiful are those leaves? They are just stunning, absolutely stunning. I love it. So that's a fantastic die set that's coming in the July to December mini catalog. So let's go ahead and bring in our other cards today that we did. I, I love Halloween, you guys. So obviously I made lots of Halloween ones, but they're so darn cute and simple. I mean, just leaving the designer series paper as your base. The designer series paper sale again goes through August 2nd. Look at how many of these we have, you guys. And here's a happy Thanksgiving one with just, just the greeting and the paper. I mean, the paper is stunning in themselves, isn't it? You could, like I said, just, just like that, so great. Thank you, you guys, for stopping in. I hope you really enjoyed all of the different note cards I created using the Banner Year set. I didn't even use any of these little guys. I mean, just think about that. How cute um, would some of these acorns be cut out and put there? Or even just taking one of the small images and stamping after your greeting or before your greeting. There's just so many possibilities. Pair the Banner Year set with all those wonderful designer series paper that are on sale. Um, you can just check it out again at my online store. And thanks so much, you guys. If you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. The thumbs up really do help. Share my video. I would love to share the love of stamping with everyone. And again, don't forget to get your entries. I'll have the link below with all the details for my spectacular giveaway. Lots of lots of huge prizes being given away, and you will not want to miss those. So thanks so much, you guys. And until next time, happy stamping.